Hey guys, um, it is Notch Network here today, and um, I'm going to be reviewing The Shallows. Um, so yeah, this, um, this is on like Google Docs or whatever, Google Slides. And uh, I decided to throw this together. This is like my first movie review. Tell me guys if you like this, if you want me to do uh, one on, like if you want to recommend a movie or something, just comment that. I'll probably do it like that. Um, so this weird laser pointer thing, I guess I'll be using that. And uh, yeah, so here's the movie The Shallows. It came out like during Shark Week, which is kind of cool. It's like about you know sharks and stuff, and uh, it's a horror movie, kind of kind of horror movie, sort of. Yeah. Okay, so warning: there are definitely spoilers. Uh, it kind of spoils the entire movie at some points. So yeah, I recommend this for like after um, you watch the movie. You know, if you actually are planning on seeing it. Then you can uh, don't like pause it here. Wait until you're, you've seen it and then watch this. But um, I do recommend it. <laughs> um, if you're not plan not not if you like not planning on seeing it, then just you can watch this. I guess I'm not gonna stop you. But yeah, you've been warned basically. <laughs> okay, so I like to, I don't know how to order this. That was my first review, so I'm just gonna start off with what was bad. Um, you can kind of call this a everything wrong with kind of thing because I mean I do talk about mostly about the bad stuff but um yeah so um in the beginning there's not that much storyline about Nancy which is the main character and uh so I don't really care too much about her I mean it just kind of starts with her driving in a truck going to a beach I mean oh her mom went there oh that's kind of cool but I mean it's not like it's that much I could have done a little bit more I think but um yeah, so uh, why did the shark not eat the dead whale? Um, uh, it's like what they eat, you know? I might even show a clip of them eating a dead whale right now. And then, I mean, sharks, they like, this is their main food source, basically. It's one of their main food sources. Uh, they look around for these dead whales and they eat them. Um, so why would it rather waste its time trying to eat a skinny person? I mean, there's a big, huge whale there. It's like months of food. And then there's just a person, and it can't choose a person over the dead whale, which it eats. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't really make sense for the shark to go ahead and try and eat a little person when there's a big months of food. Yeah, and then also, I kind of thought it was kind of weird that it is implied that the shark can see Nancy on the rock and on the buoy from underneath the water, but... I mean, that doesn't really make that much sense. I mean, if you ever go underwater and you try to look out of it, it's very blurry. And, like, how the hell does it know that, like, that's where she is? And especially when she's, like, in the middle of the buoy, like, the shark just knows she's in there. Make, doesn't make, make that much sense to me. And then, uh, why would you expect the flare gun ammo to work if it has been completely soaked in water? And then why does it end up working? I mean, I don't know that much about flare guns other than it's, like, fire and, like, it's... It uses that kind of stuff, that method of thing, and I mean, I don't think it actually works, because I mean, I've looked up stuff about flare guns, and it says that they have stays, they sell stuff to keep it, like, dry, because I mean, it's not really supposed to be that wet, so, yeah, and then, um, why are you trying to shoot a flare gun at a shark that is underwater, <laughs> I mean, I don't know, and then what do you expect to happen from that, like, I mean, she just kind of shoots it at it, not knowing what's going to happen, but she just does it. I don't really know. Then how... I'm gonna bleep this out here. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna say, how the F does she end up killing the shark? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of weird. She ends up killing it. If you didn't see the movie, uh, she kills it. It's like 30 foot shark. Um, in the middle of when she's trying to kill it or whatever, uh, she's just like... The viewers don't even know what's going on. She's going underwater, and all of a sudden the shark's dead. The whole movie theater started clapping. <laughs> it's kind of... Yeah. Yeah, so I just kind of thought that was a little weird. You know, how did that happen? Um, so I have a second page of what was bad. Uh, yeah, two paragraphs on this page. Um, so... This isn't that big of a big deal. I don't even know if it's true that much, but I mean... I just kind of found it a little annoying. I thought about it when I was watching the movie. So in like the jellyfish scene, Nancy has no problem holding her breath for like a long period of time. We get in the beginning when she's like first knocked off the board, she like 
like within seconds of her being knocked off, she was like having lots of trouble breathing and she needed to get to the surface immediately. I mean, she was just knocked off the board, you know? Probably happens to surfers all the time and stuff. You know? If you're a surfer. Uh, that kind of annoyed me a little bit. And then, uh, how the hell did the shark not kill Nancy the first time she was attacked? She was out in the open to be killed, right there. And the bite mark left looked like it was from a much smaller shark. No 30 footer. And, uh, uh, the sharks had the greatest bite force in the animal kingdom, especially great whites. So I'm surprised that the bite mark was less than two inches deep. I mean, you know, if the shark is trying to try and kill her, why didn't it just do it in the beginning? You know, one of those things never really explained. I don't know. She got away somehow. I don't know. That's just what happened. So now, what was good? You got this little list of what's good. Um, the shark looked realistic. I mean. I don't know, when I'm dissecting in a movie, I only really see what's bad. <laughs> I don't know why. But, um, yeah, the shark looked realistic. It was first where it's kind of like a shark movie that took place in, quote-unquote, The Shallows, which is the name of the movie, duh. Um, and it was released during Shark Week, so, I mean, it kind of made me want to watch it, too, during Shark Week, which I did. And, uh, yeah. And it was, uh, suspenseful and, sus it was suspenseful and scary at some points, okay? Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I don't know. It was a pretty good movie. I do recommend it though. It wasn't bad at all. I just, yeah, let's move on. So, um, how are the graphics? Uh, the sharks look pretty real, as I said. Um, the bite mark is unnerving and gross. It looks pretty real. And uh, the colors and choreography was very good as well. Uh, you know, they get like, the ocean nice and blue and and it's like a professional movie obviously <laughs> and um any other opinions um so it won't really be that scary if you're used to watching horror movies such as the conjuring the conjuring 2 the darkness paranormal activity but um it will be scary if you are scared of like the ocean and sharks and or sharks either one and the overall score, I just took this from uh, imbd.com and uh, the tomato, Rotten Tomatoes, are both the same score thing. So uh, they're both 73% Rotten Tomatoes and 7.3 out of 10 on the uh, IMBD or IMDB, I don't know, either one of those. I'll put a link to that in the description for this movie. Um, yeah, I agree with the score also, that's why I also put it there, I put it in. That's a pretty good score, I'd say. Um, yeah. So that's going to be it for this uh, review, if you want to see anything else, want me to make another one, just comment the movie and if I've seen it or something, or I'm going to, I'll probably uh, re review it like this. So yeah, like, subscribe, comment for more, and as always, have a nice day.